morning guys welcome to today's video today i've noticed an issue with one of our chickens and we are going to fix it so meet chicken strips she's the one in the back here early in the spring we had a bunch of roosters baby roosters in our flock and we thought that she got a little over roostered this is what they look like see the little red spots on her back she lost feathers that's what they can look like if too many roosters try and mate with her so we didn't worry about it too much because it was only her and a couple of other chickens but her hair is not growing back so we're going to treat her on the off chance that she has mites i don't think she has mites otherwise our whole flock would have mites but we're going to treat her anyway in an attempt to clear up this issue the problem is we can't catch her She's very suspicious of us. So we have to bring out the heavy guns. We have to get the salad. <laughs> Bite it with your teeth. I don't want to do that. Hold this. Chicken strips. Just throw a little bit and then throw it closer and closer to you. Put throw it to that guy and then she'll see it. And she'll come running. Oh, this is what I'm going to treat her with. It's actual medicine for chickens, but I have it in a cleaning spray bottle that I cleaned out. That chicken smelled the salad and then walked away. <laughs> well, that sucks because we have officially failed at our first task today. But don't worry, we have another task. <laughs> but now that I think that she does have mites, that means that we have a big job ahead of us today. We have to go in the coop, we have to clean out all the bedding, and we have to treat every single chicken. Oh no, pretend that wasn't me. Test number two is to feed our little baby goat her lunch. It's an easy one. Hopefully we don't fail this one. <laughs> don't worry about the chicken. We are gonna go back and we are gonna catch her before the end of today happens. We will catch her. Not only did we complete test number two, but nobody knocked my camera off the table. Goodbye, baby goat. I'll see you at dinner. Just a quick update on the stool that I made for milking yesterday. It has, if you didn't see yesterday's video, I was milking sitting on that stool that's all hard edges and that was hurting me. So I made this little thing. It's not finished yet, but I wanted to try it out. I tried it out and it works amazing. It's awesome. I'm so glad that I stuck with it, even though it was hard for me. Crafting is hard for me. And I stuck with it and I did it. I'm not good with tape and I'm not good with glue guns. Can you believe it? Just like task number one, I'm gonna come back to task number three. But task number three today is to finish cleaning out this little bit of my garden. We're supposed to have the thunderstorm of all thunderstorms tonight. Possibility of tornadoes, you guys. We don't often get tornadoes in our area, but there is a possibility tonight between seven and midnight, it's gonna pour. So I need to get this garden completely cleaned up before 7 p.m. tonight. I also wanna cut this grass that's surrounding my garden. But lastly, task number four is a fun one. Hi, princess. Oh, actually, that brown Lemieux on her, I guess you call it purple. It's actually kinda of cute. In real life, it looks better. Kinda of matches her, it's kind of like 
a complimentary color to her browns. Yeah, she has a pretty purple on. And no, she's not. So before I tell you what task number four is, oh look, her feathers are coming back, people. They and are, they're going to be going They're away. coming back. I love a feathered horse. Sophie rode her last night and she uses this liniment or she uses this clay and it is messy as heck. You can tell by our mats here, but it makes us feel good to use it. I don't know if it helps her, but it's, 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 it probably more for our benefit than hers, but it's not going to hurt her. So every morning that Sophie, every morning after Sophie rides, she has to come down and clean this girl up. But that is not the task. However, this clay is brand new and we are about three quarters of the way through the bucket. So I'm going to have to buy a bigger bucket next time. This cabinet right here is where I keep all my special stuff. Or actually it's where I keep all the stuff I don't want to get wrecked or to get dirty. And it's stuff that I can't keep anywhere else. Mostly it holds our helmets and our boots. I have my Ofina. We, we have our Ofina safety magnetic stirrups, which I love. We have our night watch system, which I love. I have this grooming bag, which I also love, but nobody will give it to me. It's Sophie. She doesn't use it, but she won't let me have it. But this is what I'm really looking for. So uh, recently I've seen some comments saying that Sophie's saddle doesn't fit her. And it's made me really confused, to be honest, because her saddle fits her better than ever. So I started thinking, like, what could make them feel like that? I watched the videos. I can clearly see that Sophie has lots of space in her saddle and that it fits her well. But I did notice something. While Sophie's saddle fits this draft breed horse so beautifully, I noticed that it puts Sophie in a weird position. I don't know why it's doing that. It's starting to put Sophie in a weird, weird position. The lady's like, what are you doing? She's staring at me with her eyeballs. What yeah, is in your eye? I could ride her today, I kinda want to. Yeah, you should ride her today. So I sent a picture to my beloved friend who is an expert in all things horse, and I asked her advice. I showed her a picture and I said, look at Sophie sitting in this saddle. It almost puts her in a chair position, and it makes her look funny on the horse. I said, where? is the deficit like what is the issue and so she said put the saddle on the horse tomorrow and send me a picture from the side and i'll let you know but i think that it's setting her back in the saddle and we have problems with that with gabby's saddle as well gabby's saddle is made for that yeah and that's what i was just about to say is that gabby's saddle when we had it made the saddle fitter had it designed to put her back in the saddle a little bit because she always leaned really far forward. She's like, oh, yes, please do that. My arm's tired. So, but Sophie's saddle should not be putting her back in the saddle. So we're gonna check that right now. That's task number four. We're gonna take some pictures, send it to my friend and see what she thinks. It's weird, because my saddle normally goes down on their withers. Yeah, so in the past, her she's had problems with her saddles, her saddle sliding down on the horse's wither, and we've had to use specific half pads to accommodate that. But I think that that's just because the saddle was a little bit big for the horse, but this is a big horse. Sophie's custom saddle was made for Finn, who was a ginormous stock quarter horse. He was a big bodied guy. He was short, but man, was he stocky. So when my friend told me that she thinks the saddle is pushing Sophie back a little, I was excited because this may be one of those times when I don't have to go to the tax store and buy stuff. In the past, people have said to us, why do you have so much stuff? You do not need that much stuff. You don't need to collect horse stuff. But for me, I've always loved having the things that I need on hand the minute that I need it. So cue this shock absorbing saddle gel pad from Cavalieri. And I have always loved it. It is so cool. It's a rear riser and it's super thin in the front obviously built up a little in the back and we're gonna get to try this in fact if I had my way I would buy their front riser their middle riser their air release and their basic riser because I really love this brand so much 
to me, Cavalieri has really good quality for the price. You cannot get better quality for the price that you can get at Cavalieri. I swear this is not sponsored. <laughs> I just love it and I am excited to try this sucker out. So what I like about it is that it's got that anti-slip. It's made out of that anti-slip material. It's shock absorbing material and it's a cooling structure. This is made out of a cooling structure. It's got these holes so air can flow through, but just touching it is so much colder than anywhere else in this whole barn. Like it's just cold, even though it's hot out, this is always cold and it's ergonomic. Isn't it cool? All right, so today we're gonna play a game where Sophie picks a saddle pad and I'm gonna tell her when to stop. So these are all Sophie's saddle pads. Stop. These are all Gabby's and my saddle pads. Okay, one is my saddle pad, maybe two. These ones are ponies, except those two, but these two suck. You guys shout out when you think Sophie should stop. Three, two, stop. Oh, Blue. that's pretty. I think she'd look good in that. But I'm wearing pink. Blue and pink are really cute together. Pump candy. Mm -hmm. Cotton candy, sister. Cotton candy. <laughs> You're changing your mind, aren't you? I don't want to use that one. All right, don't use blue. The, oh, that's cute. I want to use my pink saddle. <sighs> Personally, I think she should use that one. It ma kind of matches her shirt. It would look good on the horse. She's just like her mom, and she likes to stick with tradition. So this is the saddle without the saddle pack. And this is the... Stop touching it. No touching. This is the riser. Mm. Wow, what a difference. Let me just take a picture and send it to my friend. Look at my bitless bride. Yes, Sophie's shaking her head. Sophie, she said if you like this horse and you want to keep it, you gotta get that saddle off her shoulders. Alright, so we adjusted the saddle. Yeah, you you want the good stuff or Okay. All right, so she got off and we're gonna try again. But my expert friend did say that other than the saddle being so far back, the riser definitely is making a bit of a difference, or is making a difference, but she can't truly see until we put the saddle where it goes. Oh. Okay. So we got this thing level. We did FaceTime with my very experienced friend. She shared everything she knows. We already knew most of it, um, but we just wanted to double check with her. So we're gonna figure it out. So today we've had four things to figure out and we have figured out only one. <laughs> But we did figure out the stuff with the horse a lot better. We all put our saddles forward, too far forward. We all know that we do it. There's a lot of reasons that we do it. It's, Stop doing it's, that because she's gonna... It's just, this doesn't feel the same when we put it a bit further back, even though I know it has to happen. So you'll see that that's gonna be changing on our farm. So we're all gonna work on that. But so far, so good. As I'm staying close to the mirror A lock of gold, a secret smile Little things I remember Plays a hand upon my heart As her, she was a believer Sometimes I can feel her arms Holding me as forever today I was able to merge both the gardens I'm probably gonna leave that stuff in the back back there I also cut this stuff down like I said I was going to I need to get in there and pull that stuff on that side but this garden is almost ready I also need to go in there and pull that stuff but this garden is almost ready you guys I have one more day before major planting commences but another thing 
Another thing marked off the list. Come on, Ellie. Come on. We are expecting a massive storm, you guys. It is looking breezy and so nice over here. I just want to sit outside and enjoy this weather. But we have one more job left to do, and that is spray that chicken as soon as I find her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?